All right, so this has to be really fast, as fast as I can go, and it's also got to be careful because it's really important to get just the right amount of glue on these veneers. So I've got my bag with the netting and the tape. I've got my glue roller. I've got my roll of paper towels. This is always good to have on hand just in case you pour a little too much glue. Got my veneers, got my glue, and my vacuum and pump are down here below. Lastly, I am wearing some old clothes that I don't mind getting glue on because the glue is not going to come out. So make sure you're wearing old clothes or you're wearing something to cover up like a smock or an apron. All right, now we get started. So you'll be done when it gets really, really hard to pump the bag. It's never really going to be impossible. You'll always be able to kind of get at least a little bit more. But the bag will also basically be tight around the board. As you can see, the board's basically pressed against the mold. It will not press against the mold if you have some really tight bends in your mold. Unfortunately, the, we just can't get that much pressure out of this method, but it still makes a great board. And you'll want to come back in about five to 10 minutes just to give it another couple pumps and check to make sure there's no air getting back into the bag. So after that, you just leave the board in the bag for about 24 hours. And when you come back, the glue will have set and it'll retain its shape. One thing I forgot to mention is when you are pumping, be fast, but definitely be gentle. The pumps are not indestructible. Thankfully, I was able to kind of repair this one with duct tape, but if you only have one pump and you're pumping up multiple boards, you're kind of out of luck if it breaks on you. So I was lucky enough to have a backup when this one broke, so the board was okay. But definitely make sure you are careful with the pump. When you are done gluing your board, you can take off your glue roller and actually just store it in a Ziploc bag and it will pretty much stay wet indefinitely. I think I have been using this one for at least six months <laughs> and it still seems to be working fine and applying glue like it should. So yeah, it's a great way to save money and not generate so much waste and keep things out of landfills. If you can, take the nap, which is that roller part, take the nap off of the roller itself before you put it in the bag because sometimes the glue will stick to the roller as you can see on this one and if too much of that builds up over time it ends up getting really tough to actually roll with the roller and that's important for getting a good application you don't want to be just kind of scraping the glue on the rolling process kind of helps get it smoother so whenever I can, I will take the nap off the roller and just store the nap in the bag and leave the roller outside 